At Los Alamitos Joint Forces Training Base in Los Alamitos, California, the Southern California Recruiting Battalion and the Los Angeles Recruiting Battalion met with supporting units in the Army Reserve to discuss and improve retention and recruiting practices going into the next year. For Lieutenant Colonel so, Johnny Oliver, uh, communication is an important is. factor. We must act as a team, as, as in everything we do as an Army, uh, the recruiting mission is a team sport. And so every, every TPU out there needs to be on the team, needs to know their local recruiting battalion, their local recruiting company, their local recruiting centers. Uh, they need to have them on speed dial, and they need to ensure that those soldiers have them on speed dial. The various recruiting commands are actively engaged in reaching out to the community, such as the Newport Beach Recruiting Company, commanded by Major Emily Norton, who is hosting an Army Day event at the Orange County Fair on July 26. And it's going to be a fun day for the local community to just be able to come and say thank you to their soldiers and to be able to put out the Army Reserve message. And it's not just about new recruits. We understand the needs of the Army Reserve. Uh, senior leaders in the Army Reserve have looked us in the eye and said they need mid-grade NCOs and junior officers, and we're actively going out and, uh, and recruiting for those, those positions. For Staff Sergeant Freener from the 11th MP Brigade, the best advice for filling the ranks is not to lose them in the first place. As soon as you get out, you're going to turn around and want to come right back in because there's nothing like that, nothing like the camaraderie in the military that, uh, that's out in the private sector. Reporting from Los Alamitos Joint Forces Training Base, I'm Specialist Benjamin Solaire, 222nd Broadcast Operations Detachment.